वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फाइव डैश थर्टी नाइन सो स्टेटमेंट इज द सॉलिड स्टील शॉफ डी एफ हैज अ डायमीटर ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव मिलीमीटर एंड इज सपोर्टेड बाई स्मूथ बेरिंग एट डी एन ई सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द शॉफ डी एफ दैट इज सपोर्टेड बाई स्मूथ बेरिंग एट डी एन ई इट इज कपल्ड टू अ मोटर एट एफ विच डिलीवर्स ट्वेल्व किलो वाट ऑफ पावर टू द शॉफ वाइल इट इज टर्निंग एट फिफ्टी रिवॉल्यूशन पर सेकेंड This shaft DF is coupled with this motor having this 12 kilowatt power, and it is revolving at a 50 revolution per second. If gear A, B, and C remove 3 kilowatt, 4 kilowatt, and 5 kilowatt hour respectively, so this is the data given at these gears. Determine the maximum shear stress developed in the shaft with region C, F, and B, C. So you have to find the maximum shear stress developed in region B, C, and Uh, region CF, this region CF. The shaft is free to turn about in its support bearing A and D. So this is the data. Diameter of shaft is twenty-five millimeter. Power total power of motor is this. Angular velocity is fifty revolution per second. Power at gear A is three kilowatt. At B four kilowatt and five kilowatt. So maximum shear stress in region CF and BC. So let's start with the solution. so we know that uh, shear stress maximum shear stress or shear stress is equal to torque into c divided by j p which is torque will be the maximum so if i write shear stress is equal to t into c divided by j b j a j polar moment of inertia so first for region region b c so this is the region bc this is the region bc so here we should know the maximum or the net torque so what we will do is that we know that torque is equal to power divided by omega so omega is given as 50 revolution per second so what we will do we will convert in radian per second so 50 multiply by 1 revolution is 2 pi radian divided by second is given clear so this will be equal to 100 multiply by pi and now unit will be radian per second this is omega so here you can see you have power at gear a is 3 kilowatt so torque at a will be equal to power at at a divided by w so power at a is 3 kilowatt so 3 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 100 into pi will give you torque at gear a which is equal to 9.549 newton into meter now we'll find the torque at gear b so torque at gear b is equal to power at b divided by w so power at b is 4 kilowatt so 4 kilowatt so 4 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 100 multiply by pi and this will give you 12.73 newton into meter so again if you look at this so the torque that is produced due to this is uh, 9.549 and the torque produced due to this is 12.73 so if you cut the beam uh, sorry shaft over here so net torque will be opposite to that here this is net torque so this net torque torque in region bc will be equal to sum of this plus this but opposite to their direction so this torque will be equal to bc will be equal to 22.22.2 and the unit will be newton into meter now you can find the shear stress maximum shear stress in region bc which is equal to torque in bc into c divided by j so tbc is 22.289 c is the distance from neutral axis till mid so diameter is given so c will be equal to 0.025 meter divided by which is equal to 0.0125 divided 
divided by j j is the polar moment of inertia and for circular solid circular shaft it is pi by 2 c power 4 so c is 0 0.0125 power 4 so when you calculate it you will get maximum shear stress in region b c will be equal to 7.26 mega pascal now we'll find the torque uh, shear stress in region cf so for cf we will need the torque that is produced to this uh, gear 5 kilowatt power so we will get uh, uh, torque for f okay so here you can see that uh, okay so here you can see if you are interested in region cf so cf will have power of 12 kilowatt clear so here tf either you can find directly tf so tf will be equal to power total power which is 12 kilowatt 12 into 10 to power 3 divided by 100 into pi so you will get tf is equal to 38.20 newton meter or you can find uh, torque at c so torque at f will be equal to torque at a plus torque at b plus torque at c so this will give you the same value 38.20 newton into meter so it depends on you whether which method you use to find this tf i have simply cut this beam here total power is this one so torque at region cf will be equal to uh, 38.20 so maximum sharing stress in region cf is equal to t cf into c divided by j so tcf is 38.20 multiply by c which is 0 0.0125 meter divided by j which is pi by 2 c power 4 so c is 0 0.0125 power 4 that will give you maximum shear stress developed in region cf now if you calculate it you will get it 12.5 mega pascal in region c cf okay so these are the answers of our problem 5-39 clear now we'll move towards second part so in second part it is given determine the absolute maximum shear stress developed in the shaft so you can see the maximum uh, the uh, shear stress developed in region a b b c and c f so we have already calculated it we have calculated in region bc clear and cf ab will be definitely lower so again you have all these values you can see that um, maximum for problem for problem 5-40 you have to find the maximum absolute maximum value of shear stress so you can see in region BC 7.26, in region CF it is 12.56. So answer will be maximum shear stress will be equal to 12.5 mega Pascal. Altern uh, alternatively, you can see that here if you draw the, um, let me clear all this. If you draw the uh, torque versus torque diagram, so you can see this is x-axis here you have torque in newton meter at this a we have torque is 9.49 so let this is 9.49 so from a till b this torque is same at b you can see you have torque is 12.73 so it will 9.49 plus 12.73 will bring it to for example uh, 22.3 now this is your point a this is your point b now moving from b to c the torque at c is 5 kilowatt hour so
so it will to give you total tf because tf is again is this and so tf tf is 38.0 so from b to c it will be same and after c it will change to 38.2 and it will remain till last and at last you can see the motor power is also uh, 12 kilowatt hour which give you torque of tf 38.2 okay so from here you can see that maximum torque is 38.2 so due to this torque we will get maximum shear stress so maximum torque is cf which is 38.2 and we have calculated it 12.5 that's why i have written that maximum shear stress in the shaft is 12.5 and that is the answer of our problem 5-14 and that was all about these two problem 5-39 and 5-40. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.